for more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Investors approached election day with expectations of market turbulence, but to their surprise, stocks ended the day on a solid upward trend. This resilience came as treasury yields experienced a slight decline, a shift signaling that investors were leaning toward the relative security of bonds. Meanwhile, across the cryptocurrency market, prices surged as traders closely monitored the election results, seeing the potential for new policies that could impact digital assets. This election season has been marked by an unusual string of events, from the appearance of a bear carcass in Central Park to a sudden trend of coconut-themed products, and even the euthanization of an internet-famous pet squirrel unexpectedly becoming a rallying cry in political discourse. Amidst the chaos and spectacle, however, both presidential candidates are presenting their economic strategies to address the issue that voters have consistently cited as their top concern, the health and stability of the economy. Although campaign promises often struggle to materialize fully into enacted policies, the market has historically shown an ability to adapt regardless of the administration in power. Chief market strategist at Carson Group Ryan Dietrich recently highlighted the seasonal trends that tend to influence stock market performance, noting that stocks usually underperform from May to October, with an average rise of only 1.7%. However, the months from November to April traditionally represent a stronger period for stocks, with the S&P 500 experiencing an average gain of 7.1% during this time. Interestingly, when the stock market has performed unexpectedly well from May through October, the following six months tend to yield even stronger returns. Given that stocks rose by over 15% during this recent six-month span, investors are hopeful for continued growth in the coming months. Historically, stock markets are more significantly influenced by Federal Reserve policies, corporate earnings, and broader economic conditions than by the outcome of presidential elections. Associate Director of Equity Strategies at Morningstar Research and Andrew Daniels pointed out that between November 1st of an election year and October 31st, four years later, the average cumulative increase in index prices stands at 34%. Examining recent stock performance, Palantir enjoyed a surge of over 23%, reaching record highs fueled by robust earnings, high demand for artificial intelligence services, and significant spending by the Department of Defense. In the cryptocurrency market, various crypto-focused stocks benefited from a rally, with Coinbase rising over 4%, MicroStrategy gaining more than 2%, and Riot platforms increasing by 8% as the entire cryptocurrency sector rallied. In other news, Trump Media and Technology Group initially surged by 12%, but ultimately closed the day down by over 1%, showing a volatile trading session. Boeing faced challenges, despite settling a costly labor dispute that some had anticipated would lift its stock. Instead, Boeing's stock declined by 2.6% as investors reacted to the financial impact of the strike. Nintendo saw a slight decline of 1.7% following an announcement that sales of its Switch console are beginning to slow signaling potential headwinds for the gaming giant. Wynn Resorts, a major casino operator, experienced a decline of over 9% after it missed revenue and earnings expectations for the recent quarter. NXP Semiconductor stock dropped by over 5% after it issued lower-than-expected guidance for the fourth quarter, while Lattice Semiconductor fell by more than 1% following sales misses and planned layoffs. Cirrus Logic, despite outperforming analyst expectations for the quarter, saw its stock decline by over 7% due to weaker forecasts. Chief Market Strategist Ryan Dietrich emphasized the importance of understanding market seasonality, noting that while stocks tend to perform modestly during the May to October period, they generally see more robust growth from November through April. On average, the S&P 500 rises by 7.1% during these six months, with 77% of November to April periods ending in positive territory. Interestingly, when the preceding May to October period is stronger than usual as it was this year, the subsequent November to April period it often delivers even better results. Federal Reserve policy, corporate earnings, and broader economic factors play a larger role in shaping market growth than shifts in political leadership, and election years tend to produce only minor fluctuations in the stock market. Although policy changes can impact specific sectors, the overall trend remains positive, with market performance consistently rising over time regardless of the party in power. This year, analysts are predicting a 10% increase in fourth quarter earnings, a forecast that has fueled some of the most bullish year-end market projections seen in recent history. Chief Investment Officer Peter Bookvar of Bleakley Financial Group
group echoed a sentiment of resilience, remarking that no matter the election outcome, life, commerce, and the markets will continue to function as usual. The pharmaceutical industry, meanwhile, has seen Novo Nordisk emerge as a leader in the weight loss drug market. As more pharmaceutical companies enter this lucrative sector, investors are increasingly interested in Novo Nordisk's strategy to safeguard its market position. The company's strong pipeline, which includes pill versions of its popular injectable drugs, could be instrumental in maintaining its competitive edge. Language learning app Duolingo, which has recently incorporated artificial intelligence features to enhance user experience, has seen nearly 90% growth in its share price over the past year due to a significant increase in subscribers. In the end, the stock market closed on a positive note, defying concerns about volatility. Investors' attention was drawn to the economic plans proposed by each candidate as taxes, tariffs, and inflation control remain top issues for the electorate. This election comes at a time when markets are poised for their strongest seasonal period, with historical trends indicating that November through April offers the best returns. Across the market, strong earnings in sectors like cybersecurity and cryptocurrency are propelling stocks higher, while challenges for some semiconductor firms and companies like Boeing, Nintendo, and Wynn Resorts are holding back gains. Analysts remain optimistic about year-end growth, with rising fourth-quarter earnings estimates driving bullish projections. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.